Oh. Big things coming, bro. OB1 plays. Yes, right. What's up? All oh, right. OB1 plays. Everybody, how are y'all doing? Before we get started with this video, you already know the vibes. Give it a thumbs up. Let's get over 300 likes. Big news for the Nintendo Switch. A couple of dope news items for today's video. And the first one, big potential very likely Nintendo Switch news. Activision has just announced that new remastered content will be revealed for this year. This is the time of year where companies are having their quarterly investor reports. They're letting people know what their plans are for the upcoming year. And with this announcement that new remastered content is coming news outlets are saying that this content could very likely end up on the nintendo switch and so call of duty the big one that comes to mind of course is call of duty um fans of the series have their favorites in the series and um, Activision has been of lately remastering older Call of Duty games. Now, for me personally, they all feel the same. They all look the same. Brown, green, and gray shooting dudes. Actually, but this year, Cold War is the first Call of Duty I really got into as far as the multiplayer. And it's long overdue for the Nintendo Switch to receive a Call of Duty game. Mark my words. Call of Duty is coming to the Nintendo Switch this fall, bro. Mark my words. Call of Duty is coming to the Nintendo Switch this fall. Either in the brand new game um, scaled and modified for the Switch or one of the remastered announcements this year for the Nintendo Switch. The Switch has been just destroying it. And sales and at this point companies like EA Activision they can't keep um, ignoring the console if not Call of Duty um, we've already pretty much got confirmed that plant vs. zombies personally I take a plant vs. zombie game over Call of Duty game for the switch but Activision has just announced that a new remastered content will be revealed this year and very likely that we could be getting some Nintendo Switch Call of Duty announcements for 2021. But the next news item is pretty big. Nintendo has just revealed in their recent financial briefing, a lot of tidbits came out, but this one is very telling. Nintendo has gone on record to saying that they plan on the Nintendo Switch to outsell the Wii in lifetime sales. For those of us that know, the Wii has sold more than 100, mil 100 million consoles. And at the time of this video, the Switch has already passed 80 million 80 million in just four years on the market 2018 one for year 2019 one for year 2020 one for year yeah about four years on the market the switch has already passed 80 million so personally i've already i mean i'm going even farther than the wii i think the switch if it's still within the same family system they release a switch pro switch plus it's going to pass the playstation 2 and become the all-time best-selling console of all time. 
I think it's going to definitely, definitely pass the Wii. And Nintendo, Nintendo has gone on record to say that they are planning for the Switch to pass the Wii in sales, meaning they are ramping up Nintendo Switch productions. Next news item. This one is very, very good for Nintendo fans. Well, you gotta be a Nintendo fan. If you're watching this video, by this time, where what, five minutes into the video and you're still watching, you're a Nintendo fan. Bro, Nintendo has also announced that new Switch games will be announced at, and I quote, the appropriate time. Why am I sharing this? Because so far 2021 is starting off lit for the Switch. In about a week, this game, Epicness, Mario a 3D World, Bowser's Fury launches. At the end of the month, Bravely Default 2, love the series, a huge fan of the series, launches. Next month, I can't underscore how big Monster Hunter Rise is going to be on the Switch. But then after that, what does Nintendo have next? So the first quarter of the year, lit. What's gonna be those big summer games? Historically, Nintendo has had at least one big summer game. What Nintendo has just said to the investors is, we're going to announce our big games closer to the launch of those games. I think Nintendo just wants to focus on Mario 3D World knock out those sales out the ballpark, um, help Monster Hunter get great sales, and shortly or around the time or right after Monster Hunter Rise releases, bam, we're going to have another major announcement for another Switch game coming in the summer. And so it seems like Nintendo doesn't want to let the cat, pun intended, the cat out of the bag too early and let us enjoy the announcements that they currently have at the time. And so Nintendo has announced that new Switch games are coming, but they're going to be announced at the appropriate time. I think Nintendo does not want a repeat of what's been happening with Metroid Prime 4. Metroid Prime 4, in my opinion, was released, I mean, announced too early. Don't get me wrong, super hyped for that announcement. Go and look up Obi-Wan Plays Metroid Prime 4 Reaction. When that game was announced, I went crazy. I lost it, bro. But <laughs> we all know the development disaster that's been going on with that game. But good things come to those who wait. And I think the game is going to be epic, epic, epic. All right. Next news item. I thought this was pretty cool. Target, speaking of Super Mario 3D World, Target has a special incentive for you to pick up the game at their store. What? Oh, I had the image and then I, um, because I had to restart my software, but I just tell you the news item. Um, Target, they are offering a free Mario 3D World water bottle. I thought I had it here. No, I don't. A free Mario 3D World water bottle if you pre-order the console from their store. And so Target wants you to get the game at their store. I mean, not pre-order. If you buy the system, the system from their store, not the game, the actual console, the $300 Mario 3D World Red Nintendo Switch, and you will get a free exclusive water bottle. Extra incentive. I'm still on the fence whether or not I get it. We'll see. All right, dudes, what do you guys think about everything we talked about in this video? Sound off in the comment section below. Hold on, my kids want to come in. Let me let them come in. Hold on. Hey, hey, don't click off the video yet. We're still watching. All right, come on in. All right, sound, sound off in the, the comment, comment section below. below. I want to know. But, but before, before you go, go bro and girl, click that, that subscribe button. button. Stay, Stay up to date. All things Nintendo, we out, peace.
I'm building you're still a life train. This video? That means you like me. You really like me. I gotta hook you up. That's right. I'm giving away a $60 digital code every month for your platform of choice. Xbox, Nintendo, or PlayStation. Two ways to enter. One, make sure you're subscribed to this fire right here on YouTube. Two, follow me on Twitter at Obi-Wan Plays. And that's it. You're in for the giveaway. But wait. There's more. Do you want to join an awesome gaming Discord with prizes and tournaments? Do you want to get on my friend list and game with your boy? Become a sponsor. Three ways to join. One, subscribe on Twitch. If you have Twitch Prime, you can do it for free. Two, click the join button right here on YouTube and become a member. And the third way to join, patreon.com backslash obi one plays. You'll thank me later. Also, check out the swag, bro. Links are in the description. I'll see you later. Deuces.